Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do your daily reading my darlings. This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Just take what does resonate Cancer and leave the rest, right? And thank you everyone. Um, I truly do mean that man. Thank you so much for all of your support. Um, all of my subscribers, thank you. Thank you for the likes, the subscribes, the comments, shares, and the donations, you guys. Everything that you do that helps this channel keep growing. I truly do mean that. Thank you so much. All right, Divine, what do you have for Cancer today? Cancer, Cancer. Oh, boy. You're leaving the scene, Cancer, and somebody is... Um, very emotional over this. They're watching you uh, move forward here with your life, all healed, stepping into something that's very abundant. And they're, they're very emotional. You could be dealing with, um, with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, they're very emotional. I've got Virgo energy out here. Wanting to take some action. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe. Yeah, this person doesn't want to let you go, Cancer. You know, I feel like they're having a hard time just letting go, period. This is somebody who, uh, they've been in, a, in the middle here, right? Between you, your soulmate connection, and somebody else. And I feel like now they're in a, they're in a lot of regret. They're ashamed. They're um, they're suffering a, a major loss here. They don't want to let go of anybody. This is somebody who's having a difficult time letting go of anything. And but you're moving forward here, so they're going to have to let go of something. Um. They want to hang on to your energy like crazy. This person. They don't want to let go of you. They don't want to leave behind a situation that clearly isn't working for them. Yeah, I feel like somebody new is coming towards you here, Cancer. Um, they may even know this. You could already have somebody new in the picture here. You're in this beautiful star energy out in the public eye. Everything this person knows about you right now, they're finding out from whatever it is that you're doing out on like social media or putting yourself out there. Yeah, I feel like um, you're taking control of your own life here, Cancer. You're not wasting time or playing any games. You've got like this new burst of energy here about you. And this person knows it, so you're putting yourself out there. You're looking freaking hot. You're sexy. This is the sexiest queen in the deck, and look at how luscious you are. Um, a lot of people are seeing you. You're attracting the attention of a lot of people. I feel like this is a big worry for your person, okay, for real. Because if somebody new comes in, and chooses you, Cancer, they're going to lose you for good. It'll be over for this person. Yeah. I feel like um, you're having a new beginning here. What's underneath it? Yep, moving forward. You're moving on, and they can see this, Cancer. They don't want to let you go, but I feel like there's somebody else here around your person that they're hanging on to as well. They could have, this could be their empress here, uh, you know, somebody else that they're currently with. They could have even gotten somebody pregnant. No, that's not for all of you. Man, they could have had everything with you. Yeah, look at this. Pregnant, I'm telling you, that's their justice. They made some kind of impulsive move here, walked away from you. Not thinking it would, uh, doing whatever they wanted, right? This is somebody who acts on impulse. They, they kind of run around, do whatever they want. You know, life is their playground. The world is their playground. They don't think there's going to be any consequences. And whoop, they step off of this cliff. So I feel like that's what happened here. They were doing whatever they wanted. 
And I feel like they got somebody pregnant. We've got the Empress with the Sun card. Yeah. I feel like this person got someone pregnant. So whatever, I mean, it was an impulsive move to walk away from you in the first place because you're actually the world, the star, um, the, the, you're very sexy, okay? But I feel like, um, I feel like it was their foolish behavior when it came to this up here. They, they were playing around. I, I really feel like this person was using that wand a little bit too much or I don't know they got somebody pregnant here cancer clarify justice and the fool put one on justice and the fool yeah yeah they're feeling like a fool now I, I feel like they missed their opportunity at the at a true blessing and love here you know this person now they're kicking rocks cancer they're kicking rocks. If, if they got somebody else pregnant, what are their chances with you? And here you are, the one that they want to hang on to. I feel like you're moving forward. You're moving on with your life. And, oh, it's going to be an abundant one, Cancer. Yeah, this person's watching you, stalking you, watching everything that you're doing. Because they know they stood in between, making a decision here between two people. They stood here for too long. They know it's you that they want, but now I feel like they went and got themselves stuck with somebody else that they got pregnant. You know, they, they didn't want to let go. They were having issues letting go of one or the other. They kept themselves in the middle. They kept hanging on to somebody. And now I feel like they're stuck. They got somebody pregnant. Yes. Thank you, Divine. Thank you. Yes, they got somebody pregnant. They didn't want to let go. They had a hard time letting go. You know, and now I feel like they're on the defense here. Uh, they could have flirted with a lot of other people, and whoever they were flirting around with is, like, trying to get in contact with them. This person doesn't want to talk to anybody else. They don't want to talk to any of, uh, any of the other options here. I feel like this person is, they're a schmoozer. They were schmoozing other people. I feel like they were very flirty with a lot of other people. And now it's, it's almost like they just want everybody to back away because they're finding out they got somebody pregnant. And it's, it's somebody that they didn't want to let go of, yet at the same, because they they're connected with this other person too, okay? And they, it's like they didn't want to let go of either one of you. Does that make sense? They wanted to hang on to both of you. And in doing that, they got themselves stuck with a baby and it looks to me like, I mean, this person could be older. You know, this could be somebody in their 40s or something, 30s, 40s, and they have a baby on the way. Um, and they didn't want to let go of you either, and you're moving forward, and they still don't want to let go of you. Yeah. I feel like they're stuck now in a toxic situation. I feel like they were, um, you know, I, I kind of get the, the feeling like whoever they were with in this toxic situation, that person may have been providing for them. You know, the empress here, she's very abundant, okay? I feel like this is somebody who may have been providing for your person, and maybe that's why they didn't want to let go of that because of money, but now they've created a baby and they didn't want to let go of you either because they love you. I feel like they love you. Um, but uh, yeah, you're moving forward. So, I mean, this person really kind of screwed up their life a little bit right now. 
and now they can't stop watching you. I feel like um, they're stalking you, Cancer. Yeah, the cycle is completed here, man. It's a, a judgment call is being made. A judgment is being made um, on this situation because your person just, they didn't make a decision. They didn't take any action. They wanted to hang on to both of you. And the divine is not going to allow any more third-party heartache here. They're just not. I feel like this is a this connection here with the wheel of fortune. I feel like it's it's at a completion. Your person may have. Um, I feel like they delayed their destiny a lot to the point where the divine just doesn't want to mess with it anymore. They're like, you know what? If they're not going to make a judgment call on things, we will. And we're not allowing any more third party crap. This person just, they, they did not want to let go of anything. I really get the sense that they were hanging on to this empress because she was providing for them. And they were hanging on to you, not wanting to let you go. Um, hanging on to your energy, right? All up in your energy. The, this, this situation up here is very codependent. Um, and I feel like that's why the devil is here, okay? I'm not really getting anything off of this empress like they're a bad person or anything. I just feel like this was a codependent situation, a codependent relationship. I feel like your person could have been running around, possibly even, you know, had other options. But um, now they went and got stuck in this. There's an empress here who is pregnant. They're pregnant. There could be a lot of gossip about this. This could have been something that was planned between this empress and a couple of friends to keep your person there. Um, I don't I don't know. I, that's kind of what I'm getting here. And I feel like this empress is kind of celebrating too because they're they have a baby on the way now. Um, your person is, I feel like they're beside themselves. They feel a little bit lost to me right now. Um, having a hard time. I mean, that's a big pill to swallow, right? Yeah, they're having a hard time dealing with that information. You, Cancer, you don't know any of this is going on in the background. I feel like you're just happily doing your thing, moving forward. Having a new beginning, yeah, this person now they're thinking of they're they're thinking they may have to get married. This is a father. They've got a baby on the way. I feel like they're getting trapped. Yeah. They're feeling very trapped. Look at this. Whoa. This person, oh my gosh. They're feeling trapped, stuck with this empress and a baby in a toxic situation. Look at how they feel about it. Ten of swords, nine of swords, ten of wands. They're a flipping mess. I'm, you know, saying I think they feel a little bit lost, Cancer. That's not cutting it. That's not cutting it. This person is, oh my gosh, they're, they are... They're going down. I'm telling you, you know why? Because they know that they would be happy with you. They really wanted you, Cancer. They didn't want to let go of this Empress because this Empress is the one with the money. They've got this person's gonads in their purse. I'm telling you, they didn't want to they didn't want to let go of this Empress. They were in it for because they were codependent. It's a codependent relationship. And I feel like this empress kind of let this person do what they wanted willy-nilly. Maybe they weren't aware of it or something. And they went and got themselves trapped with a baby. And now they're thinking about having to get married. I feel like the empress is kind of pressuring this person. Because they're going to be a father. Yes, yes. This empress is acting as the queen of swords. Well, you're going to marry me now. I mean, they're just telling them, well, we're doing this now. 
they're not really giving your person a choice. They're just saying, well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to, you're going to marry me. We're going to have a baby. That's how it's going to be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This person, it, these are, these are like the worst cards you can get, man, as far as how your person is feeling. All in a row, too. Just major hit, one hit after the next. Listen, though, Cancer, I got to say, this person had a lot of time to, to choose a, a path and let go. They had to let go of something, and they didn't want to let go of this over here because this, this Empress made things pretty comfy for them. They weren't really necessarily happy. This isn't the person that they wanted to be with, but they were codependent. And I feel like this empress provided for them. And they didn't want to let go of you either because you're the one who would make them happy. But you're moving on because they didn't want to let go of the money. Yeah, they didn't want to let go of the money. And now I feel like this, this uh, whoever they're with, whoever they got pregnant in this toxic situation is telling, like, telling this person, we're getting married. And that's just it. We're going to get married. And they're like, holy crap. Oh, no. I have got myself stuck. This is a nightmare. Your person is stuck in a nightmare. I'm telling you. It's a nightmare for them. They're in so much pain and hurt and turmoil and burdens. And it's very overwhelming. I'm surprised this person's even still standing. Yeah. Man, this, this is somebody who is going down. They are down cancer. And they're being like forced to get married at this point. It's like the longer they stay in the situation, the more trapped and, you know, deep in they get. You know what I mean? It goes from, a, you know, being stuck there because they're codependent to having a baby to getting married. It just, it's, it's like, I feel like they, they feel like they're suffocating, okay? Um, yeah, and all they can do is think about you and what they would have had with you. That, this is crazy. This is all they can think about is what they would have had with you. The Ten of Cups. The Six of Cups. You're all that this person can think of. And every minute that goes by, this person gets more and more stuck in this situation over here. But I really do feel like they've got a baby on the way. Um, I want to I dig into this, though, for a second, because I want to look at this gossip and what is this? Yeah, see, they're going to get they're going to get committed here. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, uh, Taurus, Aries, Virgo energy. They could be dealing with um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like this person, you know, it's almost like they still don't want to let you go. So, you know, I know this sounds horrible, but Cancer, they still don't want to let you go. Instead, they want to see if they can still keep coming in and leaving the scene. They don't, you're such a huge temptation for this person, okay? They can't take their eyes off of you. They can't shake the connection. They can't forget you. They can't stop thinking about you. They know that they would be happy with you. So instead of actually cutting anybody out, right, instead of making a decision, this person wants both. They're going to get committed. This is their plan. They're going to get committed because they have a baby on the way and they just want to come in and out with you. They do, this is what they want. They want to play. They want to play you, Cancer. They don't want to let you go. They just want to cheat with you. You got to be kidding me. Yep, they just want to cheat with you, Cancer. 
I feel like this person may come in and uh, they may even want to love bomb a little bit. Please forgive me, Cancer. Please forgive me. I love you. But they have a whole family situation going on up here and a possible wedding coming up because this, the person that they're with is insisting they get married now. But they, like I said, didn't I say in the beginning, this person, it feels like to me that they can't let go of anything or anybody. They don't want to let you go still. They just want to keep coming in, using this wand, sharing this passion, right? They're going to tell you they want a new beginning. They're going to tell you they're sorry and they love you, Cancer. They're going to lay it on really thick. But the fact of the matter is, is they just they just want to come in. Um, and, and they're going to come in fast, use that wand as a male phallic, and leave as quickly as they came in because they have a whole family unit started up here. Please be careful. Because this person, they really, it's just that they don't want to let anybody go. They don't, they're, they, now that they're stuck, they're going to try to hang on to you because they know that you're leaving the scene. They know that you have a new beginning here. And they don't want this over. They don't want it over. They can't stand the thought of it being over. This is a freaking nightmare for them. But still, they're not doing this the right way. They're being sneaky about it. Yeah, this is just going to betray you all over again. All over again, Cancer, because this person just can't let you go. They can't let you go. They didn't want to let this person go. They want you both. They want you both. And this is like, yeah, it's a living nightmare for your person. It really is, but um, they're coming back for you, Cancer. And this, I'm telling you, this person is... It's going to be in and out energy, just like it was before. In and out energy. They're going, to, they're going to come towards you. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to be telling you that they want to be with you, Cancer. But I'm telling you, they're going to leave right away after that and take that energy right back here to this, uh, to this Queen of Swords energy, um, preg pregnant Empress energy. They just don't want to let anybody go. They don't want to make a decision. They don't want to choose a new path. Uh, they don't want to really do the work. Yeah, they're in a living nightmare. But they're, uh, just please be careful with this person. Yeah, look, I, they, they just, I feel like they, they don't want to make a decision. They don't want to choose. They don't want to choose. And I feel like they're doing this to an earth angel here. They don't realize this. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. This person just keeps getting deeper, deeper, deeper and deeper into a mess in this situation. And now they want to come back to you and... Start something up again with you, Cancer, before, before it's over, before you leave. Because they don't want to let you go either. They want to hang on to both. I'm telling you, they want to hang on to both of you. It's a mess. All right, give me one more for Cancer. Please be careful with this person, Cancer. It is no doubt, there's no doubt in my mind, they're really going through it. They're a freaking mess right now. But that is still no excuse for them to come in and try to get you all wrapped up, empty promises, love bomb you, use you to keep you, to hang on to you when they have just started a family over here. I'm telling you, the divine is like, no, man, back off. Cancer, you're about to have new love coming in. You've been manifesting it here. You're moving forward. Uh, you're closing out a cycle here. You're doing good. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing, Cancer. And you're staying in your own lane, too. You know, 
you're not all up in this person's business or anything like that. You're actually manifesting a new soulmate connection for yourself. This is going to be something new. And, and the divine is like, you know what? Forget about this. Here's new love coming in, Cancer. Because I'm telling you, this person, it's just going to feel like this all over again. Backstabbing, betrayal, sabotage. All because this person is, I feel like they're just being selfish. They don't want to let go. They don't want to let go. They're coming towards you, possibly over the weekend, next 48, okay? Um, please use your discernment. Clarify this five of, or five of Wands here. Clarify this five of wands. They may like um, they may like uh, the whole competition thing, Cancer, between you and this person. They may be trying to keep that going. I don't know why. This person's in enough of a freaking mess right now. But I feel like your advice is to, you know, stop. Stop, drop, and roll, Cancer, right? <laughs> you have new love coming. Yeah, look, manipulation. I'm telling you, this person, I feel like they, you know, not only, this person's kind of a mess. Not only did they get someone pregnant, not only do they not want to let go of anybody, and they're codependent here, but they also love, love it when there's um, a competition going on for them because it makes them feel bigger, okay? It makes them feel like, I don't know, it feeds their ego. And right now they may feel like they really need that. You know, they need their ego fed right now because this person's a mess and falling apart. But they got themselves into it. You know? Give me one more for Cancer. Please use your discernment, Cancer. Yeah. I feel like they want to put some things to rest with you here. You're in high, you're in high priestess energy. I feel like you're being very protected. Look for the red flags on this cancer. Somebody's going to, this person's going to approach you in the next 48 hours for someone out here. Maybe not for all of you, but for someone, yeah. Use your discernment. I feel like um, they may even tell you what's going on and pray that um, you would be down for being like somebody on the side. It's just, it's, they don't know what they're doing right now. I feel like, yeah, and I had the entrapment card on the bottom of the deck, trapping you in your mind. You down for that, Cancer? Please be careful. They don't want to let you go. Now they can't let this person go, at least so they think. They feel very stuck. But they also love this competition. They love it when people are fighting over them. You know, if they let you leave the scene, there won't be any more competition and they'll just be stuck raising a family with this Queen of Swords. You know, yeah, look, this is where they are right now, all deep in their emotions, not really knowing what to do, right? Um, and out in the cold here with this, with this Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust this at all, Cancer. I hope I hope you guys use your intuition with this. I'm telling you, I see this as a big warning cuz they really are coming in promising the world, Cancer. They're going to be saying, "I'm so sorry. I love you. Let's 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 stick with it. Let's plan." Hey, baby, then they're going to start using the passion on you, Cancer. Okay? Cuz they don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to move forward. They're, and they're feeling very stuck wherever they are. They're absolutely miserable. 
They're really stressed out. Very, very burdened, especially financially now. Okay, they're financially burdened. Uh, but they don't want to let you go. It's just, no. No, Cancer, please, please be careful. Yen, I feel like you guys are manifesting something new. A new soulmate connection with the two here. And it's coming towards you. You're about to be blessed. Yeah. I feel like you're, um, I feel like you've been looking for this, maybe even getting downloads in your sleep. You've been, you've been kind of on the lookout for someone new, it seems like. Yeah, opening the, the door to, um, letting all this love in, right? I feel like you guys are kind of like, now you're, you're open to new love, you're manifesting new love, you've got your eyes open for it. Um, change is about to happen here. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's going to be a big major change here that happens when it comes to your love life. Love is about to come in for you, Cancer. Love is about to flood in for you, Cancer. And you manifested it. You manifested it. Either in your dream state. Pay attention to your dreams right now, too, guys. Um... Yeah, you're getting new love and you're getting blessed with your manifestations, Cancer, because you've gone by the book. You never once wanted to play any games with anybody. You never wanted to love bomb anybody. You never wanted to just keep somebody stuck and trapped in their mind. You never toyed with anybody. You've been staying in your lane. You've been doing what you're supposed to be doing. You've been going by the book. And I feel like that's why you're protected. And the divine is uh, trying to tell you there's new love coming in. There's new love that you manifested, a new soulmate connection here coming towards you that's going to change the situation for you. Yeah. Because you've gone by the book. Because you had integrity. Because you didn't wish anything bad on anybody. Because you... You, you did the right thing, okay? I feel like this person is, is very selfish, I have to say. Yeah, they're falling apart because they're learning a lesson, but they still have bad intentions, okay? Anyway, Cancer, listen, um, I am going to take this over to the extended. I, I kind of want to dig into this and see what, what's going on. What, what happens next with this person? Because they're being taught a lesson here, but I still see them doing the same kind of crap that they did with you before. You know, playing games, getting you all wrapped up, and not letting anybody go. Okay, so um, I am going to dig deeper into the extended guys. Uh, if you're interested in that, there's a link to follow that will take you straight to my Patreon. Okay, just choose the messenger um, tier, right? And uh, yeah, Cancer, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. If you like this video, you know, like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this vibe, yay. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.